Hello, welcome back to Fred in the Shed. We're back up in the Radio Shack and another Dark Side PMR type video. We're back on the TID Radio theme for this one. Now, on a previous video, we tested their lapel speaker mic they sent in. I was quite impressed with that. It's not expensive and I thought the quality was good. And uh, yeah, it also sounded good on the testing. If you've missed that, I'll put a link in the description. We're using the two TID radios that we've used previously. Again, I think these are really nice quality radios. I have reprogrammed these to 446 PMR frequencies. Officially, you really shouldn't do that. Um, I, I call it going over to the dark side. These radios are now no longer type approved in the UK. It's probably the same in your country. So, you know, you follow me at your own risk. But on this video, we're gonna be testing a tiny little stubby antenna they sent in. This is the TD805S. It's the official TID radio antenna. Um, I'm gonna say about these little antennas, I, I do know you can buy these exceptionally cheap on eBay, AliExpress, things like that. I have bought some of these SMA antennas before. I can't say I've ever bought a stubby. And when I've tested them with a VNA nanometer, some have been absolutely okay. Others have been quite poor, and one or two were direct shorts, which could damage the radio. These antennas are so cheap on the TID Radio website. I would personally say if you've got a TID radio, stick with the proper antenna. I imagine it's been fully tested and type approved for the radio. I think it's just a safer thing to do. So that's what we did on this video. I think for this one we'll use the little uh, 3 series. So let's, let's get on with it, see how it looks and go out on the street and test it. Now for testing, I think we'll use the little mini 805 on the TID radio 3 series as opposed to the larger radio. Right, the antennas, it's a standard SMA, it's a female. So as long as you've got an SMA male with a center pin, it will fit any radio. And I've got to say, it looks and feels really, really nice. I checked the price out, and these are something, I think they're like, is it three or four dollars for two? Plus a bit of postage, I guess, but certainly cheap. Anyway, that goes on the radio really nice, and that makes that really compact. Now, I've, I've got, I would say, medium-sized hands. I know I, someone commented on this, how can we tell? Well, my hands aren't large. I would say they're medium. And that that is quite stealth. It's gonna affect the range, of course. You're not gonna get as much range as the standard antenna, and that's what really we need to find out, uh, find out now. I've got my rough patch where I go for testing. What I'll do this time though is I will do some measurements on the map and I'll put them up on the on the screen. Bearing in mind I'm surrounded by houses. I live on a very modern compact housing estate. So lots and lots of houses, lampposts and things. Not not the best not the best testing area or maybe it is, maybe it is the best because it is so difficult to get perfect uh, perfect comms. Right, let's go out on the road with this and we'll use the larger radio as the receiver. First stop then, still quite close to the QTH just to check that things are working really. Got the radio set on high power, so 5 watt radio. So it should do well even with the little stubby. Let's check the audio. Yeah, audio check one, two, three, four. First stop. Yeah, audio check one, two, three, four. First stop, first stop. Audio one, two, three, four. So second stop now, walked on a little bit further. We'll check the audio. Yeah, audio check one, two, one, two at the second stop. Yeah, audio check one, two, one, two at the second stop. One, two, three, four. Now at the third stop. And we'll do another test. Yeah, audio test one, two, three, four at the third stopping point. Yeah, audio test one, two, three, four at the third stopping point. Audio one, two, one, two, three, four, audio. Now at the fourth stopping point. Not sure if it's going to make it back from here. I'll be quite surprised because I've dropped down quite a bit. But we'll give it a go. Yeah, audio one, two, three, four at the fourth stopping point. So here we are, I've come up to my usual perch. I think this radio would have lost contact way before this. I would be absolutely astounded if this little 
inch and a half antenna gets back from here. I've never had a PMR radio get back from this spot. But we'll give it a go anyway whilst I'm out here. Yeah, audio check one, two, three, four. Final spot now up on the flyover. I'm going to say I'm quite impressed with that. I know it doesn't sound a lot, 800 metres or what's that, half a mile. And in the open ground, it isn't a lot for a distance contact. But as I've said before, we're so built up around here. I've got so much infrastructure. Um, just a little tiny antenna, which is, what, an inch and a half or maybe even less. I think that did really, really well. I was surprised. I didn't think I'd get back from my last port of call. Now, a few of you have said when I've, done, I've tested these radios and obviously these antennas, Fred, could, could you show us the power of these radios output and maybe the SWR on the antenna? I have been listening to you and I've had a couple of meters come in, little clip-on meters, which I was hoping to do this. I currently still haven't found one that I'm happy with. Um, the, the current favourite at the moment, I'll let you know, is this red dot power meter and SWR meter but I'm still not happy with the accuracy of this particular model so I'm not confident to show you the results with that. I am still working on it and uh, when I get one that I feel is accurate enough we can do that on the videos but I'm not quite there yet. So yeah a little TID radio TD805S stubby antenna seems to do the job. The SWR must be pretty good for that to work as well as it did or maybe you perhaps thought it didn't work so well let me know in the comments you might think eight you know 800 meters is nothing but uh, i was impressed by it anyway as always i will leave a link to this antenna on the tid radio website and also i'll leave a link to the tid radio website it is a very cheap very cheap little stubby antenna that's why i was surprised how well it worked on testing as always thumbs up from me, Fred in the Shed, I do appreciate you dropping by and watching my videos. You'll see that I don't get that many views per video. So I do appreciate your time. And I do appreciate every one of you dropping by. Stay tuned for the longer TID radio antenna testing. We'll use the larger radio for that, more power, and we'll go out uh, further. I haven't got time to do that today, but that will be coming up on the channel as soon as I can get the video done, basically. But as always, thumbs up from Freddie in the Shed. Please look after each other. Stay safe, enjoy yourselves, and I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers, guys. Fred's in the Shed Where the magic gun falls Fred with his trusty CB He's a friend to the lonely On a frequency